Pray lend me your ears and I'll tell you our story. A drama of power, of battle and glory. But Parliament's tale is a tale to savour, whatever your taste or political flavour. A thousand years past, our kings wanted a palace that others would look on in envious malice, competing to build the grandest abode. But Westminster Hall was the most a la mode. The king gets too bossy, so here comes Magna Carta to reign in his powers and do things much smarter. Council meets in his chambers for intrigue and dramas, and Parliament's born with the king in pyjamas. 200 years later, more voting arrives, though it's 400 more till it touches most lives. No paupers or women get electoral powers, and the wait will be long till democracy flowers. Back to the palace, Westminster's ablaze, leaving poor Henry VIII in a daze. The council remains, but the king's soon a packing, so Parliament gets the first home it was lacking. Wales and England unite in a bold new beginning. Common laws for both lands, the judiciary's grinning. But Guy Fawkes slays fuses on the 5th of November and gives the whole country a night to remember. Now grim civil war sounds the monarchy's death knell and power is seized by bold Oliver Cromwell. For the outcome's the one that the king has most dreaded and on a cold, lonely morning, the poor bloke's beheaded. Charles II does better, he's soon back on the throne and Scotland ensures that he won't feel alone. With Scottish MPs, Parliament's now overflowing, but a hundred more from Ireland to keep the numbers a-growing. Reforms, now democracy's looking more healthy. One in seven can vote, if they're male, grown and wealthy. What is it with fires? Again, Parliament's burning. Westminster Hall saved, guess the fire brigade's learning. A new building's built, with lots of to-do lists. And Big Ben is added, which pleases the tourists. Yet something smells funny, and though Parliament's newer, they had to go sort out the stink from the sewer. Our women want votes, chain themselves to the railing. Their passion is great, their resolve is unfailing. Then the men go to war in the greatest of slaughters, leaving the land in the hands of their wives and their daughters. And in 1918, female suffrage arrives, and so in the wake of the war, a democracy thrives. Yet it isn't for long that we lay down our weapons, as once more the spectre of world war does threaten. Parliament's bombed 14 times in the air raids, and Commonwealth sends in repairs, help and upgrades. Skip on to the 60s, equality flares, voting age 18 now that Parliament dares. The 80s, we're almost back to the present. Time to make Parliament look much more pleasant. It's been burnt down and rebuilt and crowded and smelly, but it's scrubbed up all nice when it gets on the telly. And so ends our tale of war, fire and mystery. Why not go find out more about democracy's history?